What's going on YouTube? This is my first programming quick tip in Excel VBA. And today I'll be showing you how to get the total number of visible rows and a total number of visible uh, hidden rows from a current region. I already have the code written up, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so we have two subroutines, one's for visible row count and one's for hidden row count. These uh, subroutines are pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is the if statement that's checking to see if the entire row is hidden or if it's not hidden. So first I reference the first worksheet object. It didn't have another variable that's keeping track of the number of counts, whether it's hidden or not hidden depending on which uh, subroutine that you're in. So since we're in the visible row count, uh, we check and see if the entire uh, row is hidden, is false. If it is not hidden, then we add one to our count, and then we simply display it in a message box. So if I run this, you can see that there's five visible rows. If I run it in the hidden, you can see that there's zero hidden rows. All right, so let's go ahead and hide two rows. And we're gonna run those functions again, or subroutines. There's three visible rows. There's two hidden rows. And if you're not uh, sure what a current region is, a current region is when you have a selected cells, as long as there's a cell that's connected uh, around it, it'll be part of that region. It's always square at all. So, for example, if I had T1 here and T2 here, T2, and then I do Control A, this is a, a current region because these two cells connect. Now, if you have a cell selected or a range selected and there's no data that's connected to it, it just selects the entire worksheet. And that's one of the best methods of getting the, a, a row count from a current region. I'm going to delete this. We'll clear it out. and hide this and pretty much if you just want the row count and you don't care if it's visible or in or, or hidden I'm gonna just copy this function right here we we'll just name it row count And all we have to do is just remove this if statement right here because we're not checking to see if it's invisible or not. And from here, uh, you don't even have to actually loop through it, through it at all. So we can actually remove this part too. We don't have to initialize this. Let's hit the play button. You can see there's five rows. I'm going uh, to hide some. So it doesn't matter if it's invisible or not. It's within that current region, so it's always going to return five. So if you want to check if the, uh, the rows are hidden or not, you do have to loop through it, and then you have to check and see if the entire row is hidden or not. But if you're just trying to get the row count in general, it, it's a lot shorter. You just uh, select the cell that you want, use the current region method, then the rows, and then count to get the total count. All right. If you want to see me code anything else or have any topics that you want me to cover, I can do that. Just let me know. Until next time.